Hello everybody and welcome to my Latina kitchen. I'm so glad that you're watching this video because this week it's a very rainy, rainy week and rainy day here in California. So it's the perfect dish. We are going to be making ramen, Thai ramen, okay? And I know that you guys have probably visited several different ramen places and gosh, they're so delicious, but you know what? Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make your own at home. And listen, I know it's a lot of ingredients, but hey, this is the worst it gets, the prep time. Cutting up all your ingredients, chopping up, and getting everything ready, okay? But let's get into it. First, right behind me, I have one tablespoon of olive oil. So we have that heating up, and we're gonna take our chicken, and I have a pound of chicken breast, which I cut up into about two inches. So uh, let's go ahead and do this first. Okay. I did season the chicken with salt and pepper. You know, salt and pepper to taste, but make sure you season it, okay? Because we're not using anything salty uh, again with the rest of our stuff. browned our chicken. This took about five minutes. But you know, you know how to brown chicken, right? Should look like this, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and set that to the side. Set that aside. Because now we get into the fun part where we start stirring and mixing our beautiful ingredients that smell delicious and are so good for you. It's almost like you're making like a little medicine soup, you know? It's like I think Thai people have this as like their medicine soup, but we have caldo de pollo. Chicken soup, you know? Most people have chicken soup, but I feel like they use this of all the deliciousness in it, all the vitamins in it. All right, so now let's set this aside. So there's a method to the madness, okay? So follow along and do it exactly like this. So let's go ahead and add two tablespoons of garlic, one small red bell pepper, one small white onion. We are going to cook this until the uh, these are soft, okay? So I'd give it about five minutes, four to five minutes. Stirring, stir, stir, I mean, not stirring, stirring. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, now that your veggies are nice and soft, we are going to use a very special ingredient. Um, I had to order this. You don't find it just anywhere, okay? It's uh, red curry paste, and we are going to take two tablespoons. And make sure you measure it right. One. We are going to take our, uh, I don't want to make a mess here. We are going to also take ginger. So this is about one tablespoon of fresh ginger, okay? We are going to cook this for about a minute. Mix it in with the rest. Mmm, all right. So now let's go ahead and start add, adding our liquids, okay? So we have a uh, chicken broth, get this size. Chicken broth. I, mean, I don't know if this is a low sodium, but either way, it's gonna be delicious. Uh, no, this is the regular one. So we're also going to take this size of coconut milk 
Make sure that it's not sweet, okay? Because we're not making a dessert. We're making a sopita, a soup, a Thai soup. There you go. We're going to put this in here. And we are going to mix everything nice up in here. Medium high. I love that color already and it smells so delicious. That's what I miss about doing these videos that like, you're not in my kitchen to smell this deliciousness, but trust me. Make sure you scrape the bottom of the pot here because that's really good stuff down there. So let's nice scrape it. And now we are going to add the chicken that we put aside. We're gonna add it in here. If you'd like, you can use other, um, maybe some pork belly if you'd like, but we're trying to stay a little bit healthy here. So we're gonna use the chicken, okay? So we're gonna cover this up and come back to it in 10 minutes. Okay, so we've been cooking this on medium high for about 10 minutes, okay? Oh, wow. Okay, so now we are going to put our noodles in there. And what I am using is rice noodles. And I already used half of this, but because it's uh, the recipe calls for four ounces, okay? So this was an eight ounce bag. So we're gonna put this in here. Uh, don't mind my doggy. And we're gonna put this in here for about five minutes until tender. So just place it in like this. We are going to take one teaspoon of brown sugar and we are going to do one tablespoon of fish sauce. And uh, we're just gonna guesstimate, okay? Boom, one tablespoon, all right. And um, I've added, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add um, bamboo shoots to this just because I've seen it done at ramen places and I'm just a copycat and like this is how you learn to cook, you know, and add your special touches to recipes. It's supposed to be fun. And I know that I like bamboo shoots, so yeah, I'm just going to put them in there. And so yeah, we're going to give it about five minutes on medium high. Let's cover this up. Okay, so make sure your noodles are cooked, okay? Let's take a look here and it should be enough. Mm, perfect, perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and turn this off. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Just my taste. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God, you better make this, okay. So we're going to go ahead and remove from heat. So we're gonna move it to uh, this cooler one, okay? And we have our final ingredients. We have a quarter cup of basil. Mm, I love basil, I don't know about you guys, but basil. Then we have a half, yeah, half a cup of cilantro. Again, cilantro is life. Okay. We have three uh, green onions, sliced up, diced up, sliced up, thinly, okay? Add this, and last but not least, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay, we're gonna mix this. This is it, oh my God, okay. I did try a little bit earlier, but Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm, I love how all the flavors, oh my God, like it's like lemon and uh, just so many different flavors in your mouth. It's so delicious. You better make this. You, you must, especially rainy or any time. It doesn't matter. It's summer. Who cares? Save yourself a little bit of dough, baby. And you know, you have your own ramen house in your own home. 
All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? And just one more thing. Make sure you check out my favorite cleaning company. They do office, home and office cleaning, and they're amazing. It is thecleanspace.com. Check them out. Don't forget to subscribe and say hello. Bye.